Essential Depot, and I know that I, I literally have been so out of soap, it is pitiful. And, uh, and y'all know I love Essential Depot, but I'll have to say I was absolutely horrified with being out of Essential Oils for over a month. And I am so thankful that they have got them back on their shelf. And, uh, and I bought shea butter, but I bought all these wonderful essential oils. And uh, they, uh, they didn't have the big ones on the website yet. I don't, I don't know what's going with that. So I bought the little ones because we were desperate, weren't we, Meggers? Yep. All of our containers are empty. And I can't wait to get into them and open them up um, and everything. Oof. Here you go, Meggers. You want to haul those off? And set them over there on the counter. And, uh, and we'll probably make uh, body butter out of some of those today. And, and everything. And uh, on the shipping, go and uh, find a place to poke it and put all the supplies back up. And you know that receipt that's right. Did I showed you the box where the receipts go? Yes, ma'am. All right. Oh, gosh, I'm not. Did you haul them scissors back off, well, neighbors? I'll use these. I don't know what I did with them. I lost my scissors. a pretty picture even on the box oh there's a lavender I got two different kinds of lavender they had French lavender and regular lavender on there this time. butter and 
essential oils, but sometimes I order things and I forget what I've ordered. So what's the fun smells we got? Oh, honey, I've been dying to smell honey. And now you, yeah, and you need, you need, uh, do you need, you can get it in a minute, so okay. Megger's just takes the camera, so she's hiding over there. Oh, honey, what do you think? Wow, that smells good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take my beeswax that I've got, and I'm going to put honey, this honey fragrance in some of them and, and sell them. Uh, they'll be a little costly because that beeswax is expensive, but I think uh, some people would like it. show you all the fragrances I got first. I tell you, I hate these little four ounce bottles. They sure are beautiful now, now that they've got them like this and, and, and they're just great for the fragrance. I don't think y'all use as much fragrance in soap as I do essential oils. Um, but I love those big containers uh, because, you know, I'm having to fight every one of these little boogers out of here and uh, and whatnot. Lavender essential oil, no, that's an essential oil. And lavender is great for the nose, but it does have a warning on it for people that are susceptible for epilepsy to be cautious with lavender. So there's lavender. And look at the beautiful, beautiful labels they've got now. Let's see what all it's got on it. It's got uh, Essential Depot, Greener Life Essentials. It's got the beautiful picture of the lavender. I mean the lavender. It says lavender essential oil, pure finest quality, net weight four ounces. It says EssentialDepot.com and the customer service number and the batch number. That's nice. And then it's got 100% essential oil therapeutic grade for aromatherapy and cosmetic use, not for internal use. Uh, distributed by Essential Depot, and it has their address, and then it has a use by, oh, it has a use by date, uh, March, two, March 5th, 2016, and it has a lovely barcode if people were buying to resale. Isn't that awesome? That cedarwood, let's see if we got any more fragrance. Let's see, these might be lighted in too, I don't know, but we'll keep trying to open up the ones that are not separated. Oh, this one here is frankincense fragrance oil. I've been wanting to smell that. That's what my last. What is it? Yeah, I'm going to smell it too. Oh, okay. We need to keep that one over here, away from the fragrances. That's pretty nice. It has a real woodsy smell that I didn't really expect from frankincense. Uh, I just, I just smell. Yeah. Uh, but I had a woman that was just absolutely saying that it was the very, oh, that's black cumin. Isn't that cute, the black cumin seeds on there? And... Uh, if all of the, the ones that say fragrance, we'll keep them together. Clean. There's more lavender. There's one. Can I smell this one? Yeah. Fresh cut grass. Oh, that's the one I want to smell. Get that one open. Get that one open. Shake it too, I guess. 
I told her she could use her, tape, her teeth on the tape, and she said, oh, no, I paid too much for those teeth. <laughs> she said, forget that. So I was just fixing it. Say, you can use your teeth on that. And I was like, no, she ain't going to do that. <laughs> uh, cafe mocha fragrance. I like that one. My Lord, that smells just like cut grass. It does. Wow. I would have not suspected that to be, to smell that identical to grass. It does. Bubble gum fragrance. Oh, oh look, it's got a pretty little picture of a gum ball machine on it. I love that grass. Yeah. Now we can legally say, I love me some grass. <laughs> oh, oh, I haven't smelled this one. What do you, how would you pronounce that? Me either. F-R-A-N-G-I-P-A-N-I. -I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> English lavender. Oh, is it fragrance or essential? Fragrance. English lavender fragrance. Open that one up. you got to smell it. Have you smelled it before? Mm-hmm. It's awesome. And that, that, I, I'm going to shake that thinking maybe... That's just odd smelling. What do you think of that? It's like a clean mm -hmm. smell. It like, does smell clean. What is it? That it's weird word like I couldn't pronounce. And all the it's a familiar scent, though. Huh? It, it smells, smells familiar, familiar to you? It don't smell a bit familiar to me. Ooh, I like that. I like that better than regular lavender. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. The French vanilla, French uh, lavender, when I put it on the shelf out here for sale, it goes quickly. Ah, right, there's another English lavender. Okay, here's two like, separate ones. There's some more separate ones. Lavender again. <clears throat> you smell the citrus mist? No, not yet. Oh, I tell you, I'm missing those big bottles right now. <laughs> See, normally I just have to open up one of them bottles for nine of these bottles. And, and I know that these probably ship better to have less breakage because, you know, they're little and they're packed up so well. And those are made out of aluminum cans, and so they're, of course they're going to ding up some in shipping and everything, but gosh almighty, it is a dickens to try to uh, get all these out. Can I hand you something, um, Megas, would you get a tray and let one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I figured up how many was the same as one of the big ones, and that's how many of the little ones I ordered. You know those little bitty uh, trays, what is it? Oh, uh, it is a uh, half of a teaspoon. No, uh, that uh, the other one has a has uh, two tablespoons of turmeric and alkanet root. Uh huh. Yeah, and the alkanet root. I think it's sitting right over there on that shelf too, because the lady wanted to buy an ounce of it from me, and so it's sitting right over there instead of where it normally is. Chocolate fragrance. You got to smell that one. Just do it. Okay. Almond bitters fragrance. You gotta open that one up too. Oh, the chocolate is heaven, guys. It is past heaven. It is gloriously a heaven. All right, now we're gonna to have to put price tags on any of these, but we have to get these little things off of every one of them. That one's good. Is it almond bitters? Let's see. It makes me think of uh, almond alcohol. Uh huh. Yeah, that's exactly what it makes me think and of. That's awesome. Yeah, amaretta. That's exactly what it makes me think of. Amaretta. 
Amaretta, I love to have a little bit of amaretta after a really nice, heavy, beefy meal. Yeah. I will have, uh, I keep some in my freezer and I will get out uh, and have a half a shot or whatever of amaretta as a dessert when I don't have a dessert and I've had a good meal. There's more lavender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, uh, Meggers. Two, two. two tablespoons of turmeric. The Alkanet was a half a teaspoon. Would you get a? Could, would you get? You know those tubs, those plastic tubs. With it being so many of these little bottles, I've got to figure out how to to get them back there. Would you bring me a couple of the soap empty soap boxes? Mm -hmm. All right, and we'll do them that way. All right, now. Now I know that's the two mustard seeds I bought before they was off the market. And uh, we got a whole bunch more of these in individuals, but gosh, I didn't think I ordered that much fragrance, but we'll get them out of here and see what's in them. Oh, that's perfect. You want to uh, see if there's not nine of those right there? Would you go ahead and take those back? Huh? Do what now? The alphanet, remember I told you it was right over there? Okay. Yeah, just set them back there. Those nine and nine. All right, guys. I tell you what. Uh, this is like the, with all these trees of these little bottles, it's just gonna take hours to open all these little boogers up. I mean, they're, they're, they're just forever here, and I'm just not used to this. I always buy the big ones, and so normally it's much easier to do the videos, but there's so much unpackaging to do that what we'll do is, is that we will continue to do some of the unpackaging and then we'll bring y'all guys back. How about that? What do you think? Does that sound like a good idea? Sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. And what we'll do is we'll just leave you on unpackaging. You'll earn your wages today. Unpackaging all these trees of little bottles and, uh, and everything. And And I'm so excited about all the fun colors and everything. We save this stuff here, mm -hmm. but if you want to put garbage on top of it and then just when you, you know, don't throw away the paper scraps, we save that newspaper and we use it uh, to when we do packaging. I mean, not newspaper, it's recycled cardboard. And I normally get so much recycled cardboard with my orders from Essential Depot, I don't have to buy any. But with this order, I didn't get many because everything was packaged up in these little bottles. Now that was the mustard seed. I know y'all seen that before and it's not got any new fun labels on it. And now, but before we turn it off, I will let them, see, uh, let them see all these fun fragrances that we got. Let's see. Now, that's the English lavender bottle. And uh, it says that premium fragrance oil intended for soap and candle making. This is not a flavored oil. Do not ingest. <laughs> I'm telling you, that chocolate smells so good. That, yeah, that it makes you want to just eat it. And so... This one here still got a little bit on it. I'm gonna get it off. What I do is I sell these old school. I tell them, I'll say, uh, you open them and sniff them, and if you like them, if you like it, I'll let you buy it. <laughs> I can't afford a sampler, you know? Cause I, uh, I, there's not a real high markup on these. And so I just let people sniff them. If they like them, take them home with them. <laughs> and so anyway, but let's see what we got here. The almond bitters smell just like amaretta. I highly recommend this one for candles and soap. I think that would be very popular. Citrus mist. 
very light, clean citrus. It doesn't have a strong orange or lemon smell. It's a very clean citrus smell. Uh, the English lavender is very floral and it smells really good. It is one of my most popular ones here. I bought several of those today. All right, the black cumin is an essential oil that don't go in there. Chocolate fragrance, it smells better than chocolate. Um, the gardenia fragrance, let's see, shake. Oh, smell that one. Mm. I think my nose is going the other way. That one's good. That one really is very sweet. good, very sweet, yeah. That's another English lavender. This one here, I just could make heads or tails out of it. What is it? That. I like it. It's like clean and pure. Pina, 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 pina. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a clean smell, but uh, lavender. Oh, that's lavender essential oil. We missed one of those meggers. I set it up on the counter. Let's see. Oh, the cut grass, the cut grass. And look at the fun picture. Oh, and it smells just like the cut grass. Did you really? And then the honey is awesome. We smelled that one. And look, it's got a pretty picture for the honey. And bubblegum fragrance. I didn't smell it, I just looked at the pretty picture. It sort of makes me think, I bet you don't when you put that in soap, it's perfect, but right now it sort of makes me think of an alcohol. Oh. You know, like the, you know, like a, a bubblegum mm -hmm. liqueur, don't it? Yes. But I bet you that's gonna be awesome in soap. All right, there's the frankincense. We smell that exotic wood fragrance. I've been I've been wanting to smell that one. Ah, oh, makes me think of sandalwood. What do you think? It, it does kind of like yeah. white. Yeah. Floral garden. Oh, it is. It's just like walking in the spring in the, with the wildflowers blooming. That's awesome. Oh, there's another lavender essential oil. Yep. English lavender. We done smell that one. Eucalyptus essential oil. That one there. Need to put, find its mates. Fruit Fantasia. I love Fruit Fantasia. Half Fruit Fantasia, half strawberry. Oh. And it really smells good with strawberry. Cafe Mocha. Mmm, <clears throat> smells just like chocolate coffee. It's awesome. There's another honey. And we didn't tell him who you was. This is my good friend Jessie. And poke, poke your head over there. There you go. And she's working for me today because we were so desperate to make so much soaps today and products because we couldn't make sugar scrub, we couldn't make uh, bath salts, we couldn't make uh, lotions, we couldn't make body butters, we couldn't make soap, we couldn't make nothing because we were out of essential oils because Essential Depot put their essential oils off the market for a whole month and nine days. <laughs> and so finally I got to order and all I can say is thank God that they're back on the market and, and yes I wanted the big ones but I'll just take anything I could get. I was so desperate. Oh, clean cotton. I think it, what do you think? I like that. <clears throat> you know, really clean. it does smell clean. For some reason I thought I was going to have a, a cotton balls type smell, but I didn't smell that. But, but it's clean cotton, not just cotton. Floral bouquet, I didn't smell that. One. Honey, I didn't smell that one. That honey is oh, really berry good. breeze. Oh, and then there's that. <laughs> I know it's horrible getting into these little things. Oh. Here's a grape. Oh, I love berry breeze. Mm -hmm. That is nice. That's one of my favorites. Although I'm a chocolate girl, I can't help it. I'm chocolate. Baby powder. I think I got a couple of baby powders. I know it's horrible getting these things off, but they have to put these on there to keep them from leaking and shipping. So we're very thankful that we have to fight with these things to get them out. 
Uh, some people get very fretful if their bottles has a little bit out of them when they purchase them, but it's very, 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 very uh, small amount. It's just that when it gets hot in shipping, it spreads like crazy and it makes it look like you've lost a whole lot. I've weighed, every time I've ever had one do that, I've weighed it and I still had, because I've had an empty bottle and I would, you know, like take and tear out the empty bottle and put the bottle that was leaked on there and I still had more than what I'd paid for. I think they always put a little extra in or something uh, to make up for that. So I've never actually lost any money. This grape smells just like musky dogs. <gasps> Open it up again. I should have bought more. I should have bought more. I think more. it's going to be one of my favorites. Oh. Let's see if you can finish all that off. You're better with scissors than I am. Oh. It smells like musky dines, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Oh, yes, that will be a favorite. And I just bought one of these. I'm going to have to get That's more good. of those. People are going to flog me. All right. That baby powder is really good. Oh, that's going to be one of my favorites. Okay, so, oh, we look at the fun baby powder label. And ducks and bows. Okay, all right, so what you're going to do is, is you're going to start opening all these little buggers and, and be careful not to let me fall off the table. And then once you get them all separated by their kinds, mm -hmm. then we're going to turn the camera back on and show you what I got. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, guys, there they are. Like a house of fire. Woohoo! Look at the beautiful labels. Look at the beautiful labels. I know, I'm going to do it again slow. There's some lavender somewhere. I got the uh, same amount of those as I got the others. I'm supposed to have, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm supposed to have some more frankincense essential oil. She might have mixed it up with the fragrance, so we got to go over there anyway, so just hang on. Yep, frankincense essential oil. Frankincense essential oil. She was not noticing the difference between the... Um, now this is the old labels. I'm gonna move those so that y'all can see the fun new labels. And look at them. Aren't they beautiful on the shelf? Yeah, see there's the frankincense fragrance oil. I'm really looking forward to making something with that honey. Oh, I didn't get to smell the butterscotch. Hang on, guys. I don't have the tripod. Whew. But as always, we just go on the fly. Oh, that's totally, totally makes you want to eat it. And as he says on the labels, it's not for human consumption. <laughs> so um, if you have any doubt about whether this is great butterscotch, doubt no more. Uh, oh, Arabian wood. I didn't get to smell that one. Oh, that's nice. That will really help with some men's soaps. That is absolutely awesome. Oh, exotic wood. I think that's the one I didn't smell. Oh, maybe that's the one I did smell. Maybe that's the one that smells like... That makes me think of sandalwood right there. Uh, so I found two frankincense essential oils. I thought I'd just keep looking. Frankincense fragrance oil. Fragrance oil. I wish I'd bought more grape. I tell you, I've been saving my pennies for... Um, for ages now, 
uh, it feels like to be able to buy all these wonderful fragrances and essential oils for the store and to make products with. And now I'm broke, but I am absolutely and totally rich with beautiful essential oils and fragrances. So, oh, I forgot to put those back up here. So the new labels are definitely catch your eye, make you want to buy. So these two goes here. And that was the two we were missing, I guess. Was that the frankincense? Yep. And the lavender we got to go back there and get. And I used a French lavender and I used a lavender just now in my stuff. So that's why we're shy on that. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we're missing a cedar wood. I guess I, uh, it may be over there in the fragrances and I didn't notice it. So we'll go check that out. So, all right. So, uh, you look, all right. We've only got eight cedar wood and we were supposed to have nine. All right. And now wait, we could be, we could have an extra level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no. Oh, here's the first landed. Ah, there it is. It was mixed up with the seed with the lavender. That was my fault. Alright. Now we're all good. I know. I'm in heaven now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with the new bottles. I wanted to show you each bottle that I got the label uh, before we went. And that is the regular lavender. And this is the carrot seed. And I gotta smell it. And it smells, it smells like a carrot seed. It does. If you've ever smelled carrot seeds, uh, it doesn't have that carrot, sweet carrot smell. It has that pungent carrot seed smell. Uh, lemongrass. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I thought my nose was going dead. And then I got Lang Lang. Ooh, I forgot to show you the bottle on the other one. I don't think I showed you the bottle for the lemon seed, from the lemongrass. And lemongrass is not a citrus, so you can use a, a lot of that in soap, per se. But it's so pungent, it overrides everything else. So, like, if you were going to do lemongrass and lavender, you would do half the lemongrass... Uh, one part lemongrass to two parts lavender uh, so that you could smell the lavender. Otherwise, you won't smell the lavender. Oh, this is eucalyptus. That's where the lavender goes. Okay, so here's the eucalyptus bottle. And the cedar wood. Woohoo! And the peppermint. I just think it ought to have a candy cane on that one. And the grape seed. He got some grapes and the seeds on that one. He didn't put no seeds on the carrots, just carrots. And the black cumin is just like a black hole in the wall there, but it's a little bunch of seeds. And this stuff here is awesome. The FDA has, has done a lot of research on lavender, and that's something that's rare. FDA lets you to do all the research and then just look at it. And, um, and they have found that to be quite beneficial and it's used in many pharmaceutical drugs, black cumin is. And there is the lavadin, which is Kindle lavender, but is good for the nose. If your nose is stopped up, mix this with eucalyptus, and you'll be a happy camper. And there's a tea tree, and we've got a willowy tree there. And the spearmint. Oh, I've never had spearmint before. Oh, you got to come smell it. This is awesome. Is that awesome? Yeah, it smells really good. Awesome. Is that black tub ready? 
All right, go ahead and set it back up there where we was at and put dump all that sugar in it. Every bit of it. Geranium, I was expecting to see a flower, but instead I'm seeing a leaf. And this is the one that if you mix geranium, cedar wood, and rosemary together, you get a nice woody rose smell. Oh, and this is the French lavender. Mmm, totally different smell. It's totally awesome, too. I mean, it's there, but it's like so much more sweeter. Uh, fragrant, uh, frankincense essential oil, and that's the one for that one. And here is the rosemary. Awesome. Now we are scrambling today. We are absolutely scrambling. We got us an extra hand here in the Cornerstone Market because we haven't been able to make products for like a month because we had no essential oils. I mean, we had no lavender. How can you like make products without lavender? You can't. <laughs> so anyway, so, uh, so we're just now getting back at it. Or we are now getting back at it. Uh, and we are scrambling today. We're making sugar scrub, bath salts, uh, 15, 15 kinds of, how many crocs are we got soaked in? 10. 10 crocs, double batches of soap, and, uh, and, and we're fixing to make body butter. <laughs> I'm hiding from it all, but we're gonna get back at it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Video is a little bit crazy today, but that's because we're crazy today. All right, see you next time. And remember, please use my link if you would happen to want to buy something from Essential Depot because it helps me out so very much, and I need it right now. Because I'm, I'm, essential, I'm Essential Depot poor because <laughs> I bought so much. It's like all of our husbands start chasing us around the house when they see our bills from Essential Depot. But that's because they're so good we can't help ourselves. So anyway, so you go, you go, if you want to, you can find my link to go to Essential Depot on my website where you can also buy my soaps at www.essential-soaps.com and you can also find my link on www.kimberlymagnutmcnutt.com. All right, and those links will be at the beginning and the end of the video plus down there in the description. Bye.